here let us expand using the identity a plus b the whole square equals a square plus b square plus 2ab. Let us consider 3x plus 4y the whole square. All we have to do here is 3x plus 4y the whole square is the same as a plus b the whole square in its form. So we just need to apply that formula which is a square plus b square plus 2ab. So here it will be 3x the whole square plus 4y the whole square plus 2 into a. Here a is 3x. So 2 into 3x into b. Here b is 4y. So therefore here it is. So now 3x the whole square is 9x square. 4y the whole square is 16y square plus 2 into 3 is 6, 6 into 4 is 24 and x into y is xy. So here we have the expansion of 3x plus 4y the whole square as 9x square plus 16y square plus 24xy. Let us take another one root 2x plus 4y the whole square. So this is also going to be similar except that the numbers have changed here. In the place of a it is root 2x and in the place of b it is 4y. So it will be root 2x the whole square plus 4y the whole square plus 2 into root 2x because root 2x is a here and into 4y which is the b. So root 2x the whole square is root 2 into root 2 is 2. x into x is x square. So 2x square plus 4 into 4 is 16. y into y is y square. Plus 2 into root 2 is 2 root 2 and 2 root 2 into 4 is 8 root 2 x into y is xy. So therefore, the expansion of root 2x plus 4 by the whole square is here as 2x square plus 16y square plus 8 root 2xy. Let's consider one final expansion which is slightly different. That is x plus 1 by x the whole square. So yeah, there is a fraction here. So does that change anything? No, it doesn't change anything at all because here x is a and 1 by x is b. So all we need to do is use the formula that is a plus b the whole square. So now we get x square plus 1 by x square plus 2 into x into 1 by x. That is nothing but 2 into a into b. So we have here x and x getting cancelled and so it is x square plus 1 by x square plus 2 is the expansion of x plus 1 by x the whole square.